What's going on, people? It is Tuesday, right? Or let me make sure now. It's the third, and what day is that? That is Tuesday, yeah. Interesting morning for me, people. Cheers first. So I'm going to respond to my um, my um, political trolls because I'm not a hypocrite when I talk about being assertive and then when I express justified outrage and anger about the political mess that we were in thanks to that horrible person named Trump, when I um, express um, exasperation by calling him a chump, son of a bitch, that's justified because of what's been done to me and I could I used to teach this. I'm not being a hip a crit at all. It is very much to do with how much does one have to take before one finally shows their humanity. I know I'm quite dignified and quite understanding and quite fair. I'm, it's not hypocritical to express exasperation and anger at an ongoing unfair situation. That's what I'm doing. I'm, 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 I'm assertive, but I'm not perfect, but I will say that those words directed towards the former president, that's my exasperation of, you know, and it's justified. Look it up. It's not hip hypocrisy. That's why, that's why I'm okay with saying these things. And then notice the person who I, I left it up for a while. And then the last thing he has to say is, Again, the madness of the division. You must be a Democrat. I'm not. See? See, I keep telling you this mental distortion coming from, from people. I'm not having it. I know exactly what I'm saying. And look at, just keep looking at what is what has happened and what is happening. Uh, yeah, I don't, shit. That man is a chump. Chump the whole country. A whole, whew, come on, y'all. It is not hypocrisy. I used to teach it. And in a one-to-one, -one in-person conversation with any of you people, I can stand my ground. You know, I don't even know why you're mad. Because your name ain't Trump. <laughs> That's what gets me. Folks getting mad at me about telling expressing my my views and getting all upset like what are you mad about your name ain't Trump why are you, why are you why are you shitty too yeah see I'm human this is justified the madness that we deal with it's outrageous so I don't have to, I don't have to be nice 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 I'm assertively saying honestly that it's outrage that I express and will when I feel like it, okay? And I'll just block when you folks who don't understand what I just said. If you look at the comments, most people understand. <laughs> I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm thinking, I know what I'm saying. Okay, so Every day, every day you turn, we turn around. You know, it is. It's like um, death report. So, yes, rest in peace, Anita Pointer. Um, I don't have any records um, except some 45s. Did I ever have any albums? Yeah. But Fred, Fred White, the drummer from Earth, Wind, and Fire, that badass groove master, yes, let us take a moment to show some re appreciation for the work that he did and for this band, Earth, Wind and Fire. Um, Spirit, uh, this might be the first album that he made with them. I don't have all the albums he made with them. I missed an op opportunity to, to see Earth, Wind and Fire and I regret it, you know, now that er Maurice White is gone. They were a force to, to be reckoned with. Oh, I'll, I'll get it later. But Fred was a monster groove master on the drums, and all these records 
that he plays on, including all the ones I don't have, is proof positive. This is I Am. Great album. The effect that Earth, Wind, has fi and Fire as a group internationally is, um, is phenomenal. I've also wondered about the um, use of esoteric um, imagery it, with the band and um, just something I wonder about. I don't know. Just something I wonder about. And the other one that I have is, um, what's the name of this one? Um, all in all. I used to have some more. I don't know what happened to them. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Truly a monumental, great, great, great band. I have massive love for Earth, Wind, and Fire and their music and the, in, the individual members. Verdine White as a bass player and as a personality. He, um, he's, a, he's a big personality. Very, very cool guy. Some more records sitting out last night that I played. Folks, you folks that don't understand, I'm going to do this again, you folks who don't understand my position regarding expressing justified anger, if you come over and say some things where you don't understand, I, I'm not going to spend all day writing um, a thesis to try to help you understand. I'm just going to block you because I know what I'm saying and I know where I'm at and I know that it's okay and I'm not a hypocrite. I'm saying things that need to be said, need to be said, they need to be said. Let me just say this, you folks that are all get your, your, your drawers in an uproar about what I say politically, you're not listening. You're not listening clearly. I'm not a Democrat. You didn't listen to what I said about Biden. I'm not into Biden. I said, I've heard him use assertiveness. That has nothing to do with, I know he's just a cheap, shitty politician. I know that. As a black man, I know that they don't give two rats asses about me or my people. I know that, okay? So, relax, you folks, you Republicans and you racists. Relax, because when you leave your comments, all you do is show me and the rest of the people watching this your problem. You're not right. You're, you're wrong. You are. So, I was in one of the groups last night, and somebody was playing Pink Floyd, and they, they got into all this big discussion about the division bell, and someone from... Um, South America showed his copy, and it's um, a different blue than this. This is the original American copy, which is worth money. And the Brazilian copy is a deeper blue, and somebody was trying to tell him that his wasn't an original, when in fact it is an original from South America. It's interesting how people can get hung up on crap. <laughs> I saw this tour, 94, Kansas City, and I was not disappointed. It was very, very powerful. Um, there's a lot of melancholy in these songs, but um, there's a lot of melancholy in life. Got me to pull this old Pink Floyd um, bootleg of a BBC 1971 concert with John Peel. And the version of Fat Old Son on here is really good. Floyd's of London. I've had this for ages. Really cool. I don't know the language, but I love the music of um, the world and Brazil in particular. So I was listening to this Rita Lee album, which is um, apparently an Asimutante's album, but under her name. Oh, someone... Um, translated this for me, and you can translate online something about life. But there's a goofy, um, playful quality to, a quality to a lot of the songs on here, and it's also sonically all over the place, so it's very interesting. I love that cover illustration of her, too. Love that. 
Steve Tibbetts, Northern, Northern Song, guitarist from Minnesota. Atmospheric, it really does fit well on the ECM label. Wonderful music, wonderful music. And um, got into some more Passport, I love Passport. Um, second Passport, this came out in America with this cover as Doldinger and it was a combination of songs from the first two Passport albums. That was the first thing I heard by him. And then eventually got this original German of it. Love the band. And this, this is an album I've bought several times, not realizing I'm buying the same album under different names. Pick a Piola with Mike and Sally Oldfield. I really like this, so. It's out under a couple different names. Okay, folks, I'm going to keep it short there. And like I said, I'm going to repeat it. When I express outrage and anger, it's justified about the injustice that has been dealt to us thanks to some of these folks. I speak for a lot of people, and I'm, again, it's not hypocrisy. And it, again, it is also a, an indication of the minds of the people who are, get upset at me that they, the first thing they do is, is uh, uh, tell me what I am. You must be a Democrat. Democrat. Come on, people. Come on. I'm saying things that need to be said. The GOP is full of really, really bad people. And I get, I get fed up and I speak out. I have a right to and, and there's a need for it. So clapping back at me just shows me how little you understand and I don't understand why you don't care about your fellow human being as opposed to defending these horribly um, insensitive, selfish politicians on both sides of the fence, okay? Get it straight. Last thing I'll share is I'm so pleased that Percy Jones of Brand X really enjoyed um, our conversation and he um, linked it to the official Brand X website. I'm, that really, I like that a lot. And if I remember, I'll put that link down here even though you can see the video here. But just to show, you know, and I'm not a journalist. See, that's why it means so much. You know, I'm just talking to musicians that I really care about. Apparently, apparently I'm getting it right. Okay, people. Talk to me.